Today, I'm going to show you how to engrave logos or whatever onto a MacBook Pro. Well, it doesn't have to be a MacBook Pro. It can be anything that's anodized aluminum. So most backs of iPads are anodized aluminum. Some Samsung tablets are anodized aluminum that you can do as well. We're using a diode laser, specifically the Comcro Z1 10 watt. There's no way a diode laser can engrave onto any metallic surfaces, such as anodized aluminum. So the trick is to paint it with Rust-Oleum. I'm going to share the link for you to get the Rust-Oleum stuff. But basically, you're looking for something that has titanium oxide, TO2. So this is actually the back of the MacBook Pro. I'm spray painting the whole back with uh, Rust-Oleum. The Y-axis is the speed. The x-axis is the power. And from there, I choose whatever color that I want. So I want something really dark. The speed will be 900 millimeter per second. The power will be 80%. Now we're back to the front of the MacBook Pro. By the way, this laptop doesn't work. So that's why I'm playing around with all of the settings that I want before I actually do on a real laptop, on a real working laptop. I use taped to cover up all of the areas that we won't engrave onto. After taping up everything, I spray painted it with Rust-Oleum as mentioned before. Using light burn, I carefully frame everything so that everything will be centered with this logo. It's really nice that light burn has the framing feature that way I can see a preview of what's going on before I actually burn the whole thing. This is the end result after it's finished engraving, burning. You can see that the laser interacted with this Rust-Oleum to create this black and this black cannot be removed. In order to remove the white paint, all you have to do is use a uh, paint stripper. And this is the paint stripper that I used to wipe off the white paint. I'm not sure if anything else works, but this one works for me. Once again, this is the end result. It looks pretty cool, right? My friend does a uh, wedding uh, reception video DJ kind of gig. So that's why he wants this logo on top of his uh, laptop. That way, when people walk up to him, they'll know that this is his company. And who knows, he probably wants a phone number or something like that all along the edge. Who knows? We'll see. Hopefully, this helps you with uh, engraving onto anodized aluminum. I really appreciate you guys subscribing to my channel. And thanks for watching.